In this video, I will show how to create a remote GitHub repository and how we can connect it, fetch data or push data to this repository. So what we need to start? Let's go to github.com main page repository, sign in or sign up. And on the main page, we have button new. Let's click it. And here we can create our first repository. I will add name git demo. So we can do it. Git, I call git basic. So yes, it's a unique repository. So we will create it public. Also we can create private and uh, nobody else can use it if you do not provide access to this repository. But private is okay. And also I would check, check this checkbox, initialize this wrapper with the readme. It means it will create first commit with the readme file and uh, it's done just for simplify this demo because the first commit will be added and uh, then I will show how to pull this data from the server. So let's check it and uh, create repository. So here we have our git basic repository is created. We have one commit, we have readme file with this line and uh, right now we need uh, clone this repository to our local machine. So let's go to clone and download and here we can use SSH because we already created SSH key. Let's copy, copy it and let's go to our console and go to the folder where we are going to use, where we are going to put this repository. So in our, on our computer, let's copy paste this command, it's just URL. But it doesn't work. What we need, we need the command git clone and this line. Let's click it. So cloning. So right now we have a problem with connection to our GitHub repository because of when we generate SSH key, we set another name, not the ID RSA or what is default. So to solve this problem, we need just add this key to our key store. Let's call command ssh add and uh, add this uh, git basic name we already generated it before so let's call it it uh, mentions that it's added and uh, now let's go to our folder but first of all let's check if it works let's call command sshvt git github.com and uh, here we will see that uh, hi you are successfully authorized authenticated so everything works great. So now we can go to the folder where we are going to save our uh, our repository, local repository. So let's clear it and uh, okay, and let's go to our git basic repository and again let's clone copy SSH and uh, call git clone. Now we see that everything is okay. Let's check our folder. We have git basic. Let's go to git basic. Check. So here we have readme. We can open it. Git basic. It's okay. It works fine. Let's check. Is it uh, our repository? Let's uh, call command uh, git remote with the variables back. And here we can see that uh, we have origin, it's uh, GitHub. So everything works fine. Right now we can check uh, status of our state, of our GitHub repository. We see that we are on, on master branch and uh, it's okay. So right now we can add uh, some fi file and uh, check what's going on. Let's touch sunk.txt let's check status again so right now we see that we have some new file untracked and we do not know what to do with this file and uh, git recommends add this file but first of all let's add some text here let's add our first line of our song let's save it and uh, right now we can add this file. So let's call git add uh, and file name. 
check again status. So now we see that it's a new file on txt and git uh, git recommends to restore stages stage to remove all changes but uh, we don't need to do it we want to commit this file and push it to server so let's commit our changes so let's call git commit with a comment edit song txt let's commit it so again status we see that there is nothing action is committed but if we will open our git repository we will see that nothing happens here it's because we need to push our changes to remote server we need to synchronize our repositories local and remote right now let's check our log git log we will see that uh, right now we have two commits the first one it was created when we created repository and added uh, readme is initial initial commit it was created by my another uh, email and we added song txt right now we need to push our changes so let's call git push and uh, here everything is pushed let's check what's going on on the server and uh, here we see that we have one file okay so it works we can see it's what we expected so right now i will show you one more option how we can clone a repository previously we used ssh and uh, it's because we created ssh key on our computer but we have also linux server without ssh key we didn't add it yet so we can use https option as we created a public github repository we don't need to authorize or some do something like it so we can just uh, copy ssh path and uh, go to our server and uh, clone repository in our server let's check where we are it's it's empty home folder let's uh, git clone so we see that it's done it was successfully cloned we do not need to add the password login or even ssh key let's check what we have we have git basic let's go to this folder and we can see that we have all the same files we, we can clone repository without generating ssh key but in our case it's a public repository and it works fine with public repository